food science and nutrition are two different college majors and careers that I very often hear lumped together. Even though to me as a food scientist, I think they're actually quite different. Now, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some overlap. For example, they both will study the same food molecules. I'm talking about proteins, carbs, fats, vitamins, and minerals, but almost with like a different purpose or a different approach. So this is what I wish someone would have explained to me when I was a college freshman, the difference between food science and nutrition. start off with some basic definitions of food science and nutrition and I know sometimes definitions are like way too abstract and vague so don't worry we will get into more detail from there. Food science is the study of the physical, biological, and chemical makeup of food. Basically the causes of food deterioration or spoilage and how you process foods to make different products. And what I think this definition is really trying to explain but maybe is a little too vague is that food science is like how do you preserve food for a longer shelf life? What ingredients would best be used for a specific food product? Um, how do we make sure our food is safe and that, you're, that there's not a foodborne outbreak? It's these types of things a food scientist might be interested in and study. And personally, how I like to think of food science versus nutrition is that a food scientist is really interested in food from the moment of like, where is it grown? What field is it grown in? How is it harvested? Then how do we transport that to a processing or manufacturing plant? How do we make it into a different food product? What ingredients do we add? Down to, let's get it to the grocery stores on the shelf and have a consumer buy it. And that's food scientist. So a food scientist goes from like the field all the way to when a consumer puts that food in their mouth. Now, nutritionists, on the other hand, they start right here. So a nutritionist is interested in what happens when that food is eaten by the consumer, eaten by someone. Well, that's how I like to think of the definition of nutrition, but a more traditional definition you'll probably see on the internet usually goes something like this. Nutritional sciences is the study of food, nutrients, and other food substances, and the intake and biochemical processing of food substances, their relationship to health and disease, and the application of this information to policy and programs. Oof, that's a long definition. <laughs> if I had to highlight just the main points in this definition, it's that nutritionists look at how food impacts the body and the health of the human body. This might mean they study how food impacts diseases like obesity, Alzheimer's disease, uh, that sort of thing. They might study malnutrition or food insecurity, so actually like the lack of food and how that impacts someone's health. They would curate different meal plans for people because depending if you're old or young, pregnant or non-pregnant, if you're healthy or not healthy, these people have different bodily requirements. I thought it might also be helpful to look at what classes does a food scientist take versus what classes would a nutritionist take in college because that gives you an idea of sort of the topics, you know, a bit better. But first, I want to say that at least in the U.S., both these degrees, food science and a degree in nutritional sciences, they're a four-year bachelor's degree. I will add one caveat. If you are doing a degree in nutritional sciences in hopes of becoming a registered dietitian, this is actually an extra step. So first you need to get that four-year degree in nutritional sciences. Then you need to apply to the internship for uh, registered dietitians and pass an extra examination to finally become a registered dietitian. And this is an extremely competitive process. My sister tried to do this. She got the nutritional sciences degree and never was able to get the internship. So that's just a heads up. Of course, you could use nutritional sciences, that degree in a different area or for other careers that aren't registered dietitian. As far as I know, there's nothing like this for food science. Food companies are very happy if you just get a bachelor's degree in food science, 
that's all that's required. But back to classes. When I was an undergraduate in food science, I took courses like food preservation, food engineering, food microbiology, food analysis, um, ingredient functionality, basically any foundational science, but applied specifically to food. Now, if you were majoring in nutritional sciences, even at the same university, I got my food science degree, that's UW-Madison, you're for the most part taking very different classes. These are classes like human nutritional needs, nutrition in a lifespan, uh, nutritional biochemistry, and clinical nutrition. And when it comes to classes, again, there is a bit of overlap. So as a food science major, I had to take one nutritional sciences class, right? Over four years, I only had to take one. So it's it can be very different class schedules. Another factor to consider is where do these people work? So for food scientists, where I found a lot of my classmates and friends going to is one, definitely food companies. And a lot of these names you probably recognize, I'm talking about like General Mills or Kraft Heinz or Wrigley Mars, like these big, big brand name food companies. But there's also a lot of food companies you don't recognize. Maybe they're small or medium companies, or maybe they just make ingredients not a final food product. A lot of food scientists maybe want to go the startup route, so they go to Silicon Valley and help build, you know, a food product from the ground up. Others will pursue entrepreneurship, maybe they have their own food idea. Some will work at government agencies like the USDA and FDA. Uh, but generally, I would say that's where most food scientists end up working. Now, nutritionists, I would say some of them do work at food companies as well, you know, like food scientists, but their role and responsibilities are probably a little different. They could also go to health and wellness companies, so that where everyone is focused on making a very uh, healthy product. Think of supplements or vitamins or a food that's high fiber and enriched in iron, uh, that type of thing. A lot of nutritionists also work from home, so they could be making different dietary plans for their clients and there's no need to go into work. You'll also see nutritionists in hospitals, of course, making different dietary decisions for people who have different sickness or ailments or have very different, you know, dietary needs in different lifestyles. You might also find nutritionists at places like big schools or universities where you need someone knowledgeable about food to make different meal plans for everyone that's attending that school or university. As you can see, for the most part, I would say food scientists and nutritionists work at different places, unless of course where they work is a food company. Which one is better? I'm only talking about this because I know someone is going to ask this question. Is food science better than nutrition or is nutrition better than food science? And my answer for you is that neither is better because it depends on you. You need to take this knowledge and think about what am I most interested in? What am I passionate about? What would I not mind working on for the next several decades of my life? And while it is really important to understand what is the job placement, so how many students are able to get a job in that industry and what a normal salary is, of course, all of that's very important. But I will say, remember that it's you who has to show up and go to those classes every day. And then once you graduate, it's you who has to drive to that job every day. So while I would talk to family and friends, people who know you very well to get their opinion, I would really think about it, think about yourself and think about how you want to spend your life and what college major might match up with what you care about and what your talents are and what college major would be best for you. If you enjoyed this video, next I would watch my video where I explain seven different jobs a food scientist can have.